Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. Tricks, traps and blunders. Let's start. e4, e5, bishop to c4, the bishop's opening, maybe. Knight to f6, white to move, should white play d3? Play with the white pieces, play the d4. Bishop to e7, d takes on e5. Knight takes on e4. White to move. How would you continue? White. Play the move and black resigned and the move is queen to d5. Play with the black pieces resigned. In view of this continuation, saving the king but losing interest in the game. Next game. e4, e5, knight to f3 and now f5, the Latvian gambit accepted. Bishop to c5, knight takes on e5, black to move, play with the black pieces played d5, white to move, how would you continue? Queen to h5, check, was played, g6, pawn takes pawn, but now knight to f6 attacking the queen. What is the best square for the queen? What would you do? White played g7 check. Knight takes queen. Pawn takes rook check. And black resigned. If the king goes to e7, then another check. And then white wins the knight. Next game e4, e5, knight to f3. And now f6, the Damiano's defense. White to move, how would you continue? Perhaps bishop to c4 is not a bad move. Maybe d4. Play with the white pieces played. Knight takes pawn on e5. Bishop to d6. Let's take it back. If pawn takes knight, then check. And after g6, another check and white wins the rook back to our game bishop to d6 was played but this move has a downside too how would you continue play with the white pieces played queen to h5 check king to e7 if g6 the game would last longer but play with the black pieces didn't want to lose the rook so he wanted to save the rook by playing king to e7, but this move has a tiny downside, and that is queen to f7 checkmate. Next game. Knight to f3, d5, c4. d takes on c4, e3. Knight to f6, bishop takes on c4, bishop to g4, pinning the knight white to move how would you continue in this position if you had white pieces play with the white pieces forgot that his knight is pinned so he played the knight to e5 bishop to h5 let's take it back well actually player with the white pieces did not forget about the pin he was counting on this variation and then Bishop takes on f7 check, mate. But play with the black pieces was clever. He played bishop to h5. White played the move and black resigned and the move is. Queen takes bishop, black resigned in view of this continuation. Knight takes queen, bishop takes pawn on f7 check, mate. And perhaps we should see some games when play with the black pieces man e4, e5, knight to f3, knight to f6, the Russian defense. Knight takes on e5, knight to c6, the Stafford gambit. Knight takes knight, d takes on c6, e5, knight to e4, d3, black to move. How would you continue in this position if you had black pieces? Perhaps some players would play knight to c5. Instead of knight to c5, 
play with the black pieces, play bishop to c5. Pawn takes knight, but black played the move and white resigned, and the move is bishop takes pawn on f2, check. White resigned. If the white king goes to e2, then another check forcing the king to separate from the queen, and then queen takes queen. Next game, d4, d5, the queen's gambit declined, knight to c3, the Tarash defense maybe, bishop to f4, c takes on d4, bishop takes knight, black to move, how would you continue? Instead of rook takes bishop, play with the black pieces, capture the knight. And then white saved the bishop by playing bishop to e5. Pawn takes pawn on b2. And in this position, play with the white pieces, resigned. One line goes like this. Bishop takes pawn on b2. And then check. Winning the white queen. After queen to d2, bishop takes queen check. Next game, d4, e5, the England gambit. d takes on e5, knight to c6, knight to f3, queen to e7, white added, one more defender. But player with the black pieces gave check on b4 with the queen. Queen to d2, queen takes on b2. To save the rook, white played queen to c3, black to move. Black played the move and white resigned and the move is bishop to b4, pinning and winning the queen. If bishop to d2, then bishop takes on c3, and if knight takes on c3, queen takes rook. If white wants to save the rook, then Queen to c1, check, mate. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.